Okay, for today we've got a really strange box I don't think I've ever seen before. Huh. Nope, everything's in here just like this. Whoa. First up, we have One Piece Season 2 7th Voyage. Season 2 is getting really long now. Fortunately, I still in, am really enjoying this, and I'm looking forward to watching that. But I'm also kind of curious about this. Uh, I guess this doesn't rate as high, but I'm still curious to check it out. Samurai Harem, huh? Uh, and this was the reason why I definitely wanted to get all the Initial D stuff. This is third stage, Initial D third stage, which is, I believe, just a movie. But Initial D fourth stage is a uh, another season. There's 12 episodes here. And that's pretty much all the anime. But there was something else in there. I'm kind of interested in um, remembering why I enjoyed this. I can't remember anything about the show other than the fact that I enjoyed it. So that'll be pretty cool. This was the other thing that I kind of hinted at last week would arrive. Um... You can see there it's a Spartan 3. This is basically an FPGA. Think of it as a programmable um, logic circuit, kind of. Well, yeah, I guess logic circuit does. You know, it's got switches and lights and buttons, serial and VGA, uh, PS2, and some generic stuff. The basic idea is you can program this to test... Uh, hardware simulation. Now, it's not something I'm necessarily experienced with, but that's why I bought this book last week, because uh, it's for the Spartan 3, Xilinx's Spartan 3, which should be this, Xilinx Spartan 3, and this is, ba the basic premise of this book is learning by example, and again, I've already got something of an okay start, where I did some FPGA programming with VHDL in college a little bit. So hopefully I can pick it up with just their software and whatnot. And this has good examples in it, such as how to use the VGA port and the PS2 port to talk to keyboard and mouse. Other cool things. So I'll be playing around with this again. If I make anything interesting out of it, I'll have to update y'all on it. Okay, so I can hunt for clips. That's probably not a good way for me to review an anime, because what have I reviewed up till now? I made a collection of clips from favorite stuff. That's it, and I've worked on a half dozen different projects and never finished them. You know, in order to get actual DVD reviews done for y'all, well, I guess it's really content reviews done for y'all, basically this means that I should probably just continue doing it this way. So. Starting with stuff I've watched this week, since I think we've started something here. Uh, I haven't finished Veronica Kenshin Season 3, but it's pretty fair to give an update about it, since I do have more to add since last week. See, I mentioned that it started this Christian oppression arc, and I was worried that it was just going to be a crappy season because it was all about it, but no. It turned out that that was actually just a smaller arc within the season, where basically this is more like the first season, where it's just a bunch of disjoint little stories that happen here and there. So I have to say, Season 3 has picked up and it's about as enjoyable as Season 1 as far as I can tell. So, it'll be nice to finish it. Um, it's definitely not going to be one of those things with this big overall question that needs to be answered at the end. Except for that one, but... That's not really a major story thing so much as character drama. Um, Hayate the Combat Butler Part 5 was pretty amusing. Um, not gut-bustingly funny, but definitely giggle out loud since, um, you know, that's kind of what it does. It comes up with these absurd situations and it makes all these references to other anime. It's just really amusing to continue watching it, so I'm hoping it continues to come out and I can continue to enjoy it. Uh, the other thing I watched was a couple episodes of Street Fighter 2B, which is a 29 episode Street Fighter series. I think Ken and Ryu are gay. I'm not quite sure why Chun-Li's a 15-year-old girl, either. Very good. Another thing I 
another thing that was recently asked of me to review was a uh, case closed or the Detective Conan stuff. So Funimation has released five seasons, um, and looking up old stuff, I've seen that there are they've only ever been releasing five seasons, and of course they did Viridian collection releases of up to five seasons. With any luck, maybe they can start bringing more out because um, generally. With, to make a long-running series um, succeed, you can't really do the same thing that you do in a short series. You basically have to come up with something where you can watch it episode to episode, be interested in starting and finishing an episode, and a lot of that is something needs to happen in that episode, and uh, characters need to do something. Now, um, other other long-running series do things with carrot and stick approach, which makes you want to keep watching because oh the character's gonna do something cool oh they didn't do it but that can also kind of backfire such as Naruto and its entire second half of its series being um, nothing but filler or Bleach having the entire bound saga you know so something like Case Closed which is a simple mystery and they just have to come up with a mystery every week for them to solve it's a lot easier to work with and uh I don't remember the name of the person who does these character developments, but they always make these long series. And the nice thing they are usually good at doing is amusing character interactions, even if they do get kind of repetitive, where you always know that Conan's going to be the smart person, and uh, what's-his-face is always going to hit him and tell him not to be a stupid brat or something. But, for the most part, it's not hard to start an episode, it's not hard to finish an episode, and... Along the way, it just time just passes. And five seasons get watched, and it's amusing to watch. I, it's a valuable passage of time for me, it, and it just doesn't set up unreasonable expectations, in my opinion. The movie is slightly different, see, because um, you know it's pretty easy to know what they're going to do with the movie. They're basically going to um, just have an entire movie about a single case, right? The trick is, is since these are movies, and movies suggest something more important, they have to come up with more important cases. I have to say that the movies have succeeded pretty well in making, um, in being slightly grander than the series, and just being, um, oh wow, you know, this is completely ridiculous what they're about to do, but, you know, they, there's no way they would do this in the series. And that's what's kind of neat about the movies. The unfortunate thing is that the first four movies are pretty watchable with the stuff that uh, Funimation has released. With movies five and six, you kind of have to be careful because they start revealing things that happened in the series beyond season five. And while well, I took the plunge because I need my Detective Conan fix, well, it's not that hard to pick up. They tell you at the very beginning the basically the entire backstory. And the fact that it's the same in every single movie just means it's a backstory until you get to here and they start introducing a couple of additional details to the backstory that have been added. It's not bad. It's actually quite enjoyable, and I'm going to keep watching the Detective Conan movies, even if season six on don't come out. It's a, it'll be a little spoilerific, but it's fun. It's those are good. So I spent a good amount of time reviewing stuff, so I probably shouldn't spend much time here um, at the end. Three things I didn't get this week. Xeno Saga, the complete series, Shinchan, the complete first season, and Shinchan, the complete second season. Obviously, because I already have all of them. Otherwise, next week's looking like a pretty okay release. Um, probably comparable to this week's. This time, let's not talk. List them out, and uh, just let you see them next week.